classical. Let's look at classical painting. Now remember, the Greeks were amazing painters, but the paintings did not survive. So all they have left are vase paintings like this one. So that's part of the reason it's in the curriculum, because it shows Greek painting. This is a crater of a Greek vase, and the figures are somewhat naturalistic. And this tells the story of hubris, which was the greatest sin a, a Greek could have to think they were the gods. And this one here, the guy uh, bragged about his kids. So the gods came down and they killed them all. And this is a Greek painting, not, uh, and it shows how the Greeks painted during the classical era. So that's the Niobides crater. The, now we're going to go to the Etruscans, and the Etruscans also had painting, and they were famous for their tombs, and the Etruscans were kind of a peaceful, almost kind of like hippie kind of people, and uh, they were very artistic people. They'll get wiped out by the Romans, but their um, tombs are famous for their painting, and what's doubly famous is uh, their death paintings are pleasant. It's like a party. They're socializing, they're drinking, they're listening to music, they're with their friends. So this is a Etruscan tomb painting, but the content is, is peaceful. Uh, okay, the Alexander mosaic, I would know this one really, really well. This is a floor mosaic, but it's based on a Greek painting. So this has two functions. The first one was it was a painting, and the second one was it was a mosaic in a Roman villa. Now this one here shows the story of Alexander the Great at the Battle of Isis fighting Darius the Persian. There's Alexander and there's Darius. So this shows the story of the Greek Alexander beating Darius the Persian. So it's historical, but of course because it's Greek, the bias is in favor of the Greek. So Alexander is not afraid, his horse is afraid, but he is not and Darius is afraid. In actuality, Alexander treated Darius pretty well, but this shows a true story. It's a historical painting of the Battle of Isis, and it's Hellenistic. It's got emotion. It's expressive. It's dynamic. You can even see uh, some shadows. So this is the Alexander mosaic. I'd know that one really, really well. Again, it's a floor mosaic, of a Roman villa, but it is a Greek, originally a Greek painting, so it gives us insight into the ability of the Greeks to paint naturalistically. The last one is from the House of Vedi, which is a Roman villa, and inside the villa there's a wall painting. This is a Roman fresco. So yes, the Romans could paint as well, and there was a lot of naturalism in the painting, uh, but this is not linear perspective. That will come from the Renaissance. It just shows, remember the Romans copied the Greeks, that the Romans had some naturalism. It's found in the villa, and they, their paintings were based on Greek naturalism. The one to really remember from this one is most likely the Alexander Mosaic. Okay, that's it.